It's the most beautiful time of the year. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. This year, I've decided to post 31 videos, one video every day of December. I'm going to call it 31 days of Christmas. So the first video I wanted to post about is Christmas movies. Every Christmas, people get into a lot of this confusions and discussions where they're thinking what to do, what not to do. Like they are thinking how to decorate their house, how to decorate their uh, Christmas tree or what to get their friends or family. But one of the biggest problem people get is to pick the right movies to watch. Now, yeah, you can sit around on your, your couch the whole month of Christmas and watch like hundreds of movies because there are so many Christmas movies. But if you're like me and you don't have a lot of time and you have to pick only certain movies, so this video is for you. I'm going to talk about the top 10 Christmas movies of my picking just remember it's my picking i'm not saying these are the best christmas movies it's just the ones i picked also this video is not going to include movies like home alone the nightmare before christmas basically no movies which are released before 2000 so without any further ado let's get right into the list my top 10 is not accordingly like you don't have to watch from 10 to 1 you can watch any any of these movies they're all equally very good and very different so on number 10, I have Bad Santa. Now, I'm not gonna tell you everything about the movie because I don't wanna really ruin the movie for you. I'm just gonna give you a little bit hint about the movie so you know if you wanna watch it or not. So Bad Santa is about a guy who's dressed as Santa and his friend who's dressed as Elf and they are the bad guys and they're trying to rob a mall and stuff, but they meet a little kid and then the story completely changes and that's all I'm gonna tell you about. On number nine, I have The Night Before. This movie is really funny and this movie is about these three friends who have this 10 year long uh, uh, streak of spending Christmas night together and they're like, you know, every year they meet up and they spend Christmas night together but this year one of the three friends is becoming a father and uh, they just realize that this streak is not gonna last any longer so they try to make the most of the night. On number 8, I have The Grinch. The Grinch of 2018. So all the Grinch movies are kind of the same. It's about like uh, the Grinch who's real, who doesn't like Christmas, doesn't like the December month itself. So he basically just goes and tries to steal Christmas and tries to just like make everybody unhappy. But, uh, and then there's a twist. So like, you know, just, just watch the movie, it's a good one. On number seven, I have The Christmas Chronicle from 2018. So this movie is about two kids who try to capture Santa Claus, but then obviously fail and then end up helping Santa and his elves to make the Christmas what it is. It's a good one. Number six, I have Elf from 2003. This is a really more popular movie. I'm pretty sure you have already watched it, but if you haven't, this is a good watch. Like it's about uh, the actor who thinks he's really an elf and then, but he isn't, so then he goes to New York to find his real father. On number five, I have How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This is again, the typical Grinch movie, but this is a Jim Carrey movie from 2000. And this is like an OG movie. Uh, I, did, I don't really want to recommend it because it's so old, but at the same time, it's really good. So you must give it a watch. On number four, I have A Christmas Carol. This movie is recommended to me by a friend. This is from 2009. This movie is about this uh, old man who's uh, really not happy about Christmas and he's always grumpy and he does not like it. He makes three kids and then they kind of change his way of thinking. I personally haven't watched that movie, but uh, now that I'm recommended, I will definitely watch it. So number three, is the Polo Express. The Polo Express again is a really old movie and um, you might have watched it already but it's a good watch. It's about this kid who's, go who's going to the North Pole to meet Santa or whatnot but then he realizes that what the people he's going with and the journey and everything is more mem memorable than uh, the whole North Pole itself. Actually, I butchered that uh, explanation. Just watch the movie and like it's a good one. I don't know how to explain it really. On number two, I have Arthur's Christmas. This movie is from 2011. It's about this person who needs mails of people who wants uh, Christmas presents and stuff. And then he misplays this uh, child's present. And then he goes on this journey try to uh, fix the problem or to fix the mistake he made. And on number one, Last but not the least, this is a recent movie, really new, it's from 2019. I recently watched it and I was in love with the movie. It is more like a comedy and uh, yeah, it's more like a comedy but then it does get sad at times. This movie is called Klaus with a K and it's on Netflix right now. So if you have Netflix, you should give this a watch. It's about uh, this postman who doesn't really want to be a postman but then he has to be a postman. It's a really good touch to Christmas movies because most of the Christmas movies are just the same thing. Oh, somebody doesn't like Christmas and then he changes his mind. But this movie is a little bit different than that. This movie is like origination of Christmas. 
So yeah, you should definitely give it a watch. So that's gonna wrap up the list for Christmas movies. If you think I missed a movie which is really good or something, uh, please leave it in the comments so other people who have already watched these 10 movies can take a look at it. And uh, please tell me if you, what was your favorite movie or what is your favorite movie if you already watched all of them. And I'll be reading comments. Hit the like button, subscribe for more videos because I'll be uploading a video every single day of this month. And uh, see you guys later. Peace. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about.